Back here, still watching SA Today. Now, Chess South Africa has in recent years seen a leadership wrangle play out in the courts with a dispute over who are the legitimate executives of the national governing body of the sport of chess in, in the country. Now, despite a court ruling earlier in the year, Chess SA was summoned to Saskok to clear up the issues in the uh, body after concerns were raised by Chess Africa and the Minister of Sport. To tell us more, we're now joined in studio by Joe Mahumole, and, uh, who's the president president of Chess South Africa, as well as his deputy, Kia Dipale. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. Welcome to you. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon. Uh, All right. So the last time we spoke, there was this dispute over the legitimacy of who should be running Chess South Africa. You went to the courts earlier in the year, and the courts ruled in your favor. Yes. So how is it that you ended up at Saskog today? Well, uh, Saskog uh, called us to a meeting which we thought they should have done in January already. But um, we, we, we had thought today they will clarify their position with regard to uh, the issue of the leadership of Chess South Africa. But I must say to the public and to mm. you, uh, Peter, that in terms of the court ruling, we, we are the legitimate um, a, a body that runs Chess South Africa. Mm. Because in terms of Jay Yagoo's judgment of 25 March, uh, we are in charge of Chess, Chess South Africa. One of the things they directed us to do is to convene a general meeting where elections will take place before 1st July. And we have done that. The meeting is set for 29 June 2019. So we were surprised today if um, Saskok also called uh, Henrik Detroit and his group to a meeting, which unfortunately they, they brought the lawyers. We don't know why the lawyers were brought because sports is not run through the courts and lawyers. Mm. That is our belief, because we are all volunteers. What should have happened today was for yeah. Sasko just to give a direction. So what <coughs> did the other group, uh, led by Mr. Hendrik de Toy, say at this meeting today? <sighs> They're questioning our legitimacy. Still, and even after the court ruling? Yes, even though we do follow the constitution of South Africa to the letter and we've been transparent to the players and the National Council all throughout, mm. even to Saskok itself. So it was rather surprising for that action to be taken mm. today instead of a resolution to go forward. So what's the position that Saskok has taken now? Are they saying, carry on, have your meeting, your general meeting, but we recognize your authority? No, we, we, I must say up front, we are quite disappointed ourselves yeah. because the, the, the board member who chaired the meeting actually led uh, the meeting just to lose, to lose focus because our point was all information is before Saskok. When they called us today, what we expected was for them to say, guys, we have seen your issues. Yeah. We, we are happy that you are at this position where elections are going to take place. We will support you through the process. If they do not take that view, which we cannot force them to, mm. it's just to tell us what their view is. But what happened is we were bogged down on the issues where the lawyers should be in the meeting, whether because the Hendricks group insisted on the lawyers that they, sh mm. they should be there. We said, if that is the case, as far as we know, sports is not run through courts and the lawyers. So we can't speak in that meeting when the lawyers are there, unfortunately. We were quite disappointed. But we believe sense will prevail. That is why we asked the, the board member and the CEO, the acting CEO in the meeting, that because Sasko could not give a view on the, on the matter, and they are unable to deal with this issue. They are still calling mm. uh, Henrik Detroit in the group. They rather refer the matter to, Sasko, to, to, yeah. to the minister in terms of Sports and Recreation Act. That's what we asked them to mm. do. The second point that disappointed us quite greatly today, which we didn't expect to happen in the meeting, it's when people bring xenophobic issue. They, instead of focusing on what we do in chess, they raise an issue about a member uh, who's, who's not who's a foreign national mm. and I think in terms of the constitution of Chess South Africa it's very clear it's not mm. ambiguous there's no discrimination okay. in terms of nationality. We're running out of time I'm just concerned <coughs> people who love to play chess in South Africa how are they being affected by this or are things happening to carry on regardless of this leadership wrangle? I would say from the grounds level in the communities where we extremely do volunteer for all this the players do complain because there's no proper communication right now mm. there's confusion when we do plan events they want to counteract and try to discredit everything that we're doing even though 
in all honestly we do go back to the players and be open about the processes that have been happening so it's just them each and every time they discredit the processes however we take the decision so it's, it's currently right. unfortunately we run out of time but what i'd like to do is uh, perhaps we can have this conversation again particularly as you get closer to uh, your meeting yes. just so that we can settle this issue once and for all and uh, get a sense of where chess south africa is going from now on yes. thanks both of you for coming through our pleasure thank you but so the players much. must be happy the processes are in, in place right. there's a africa team which is going on which we have selected and it, it, it's going to participate. And, and the AGM you're the is president. taking place. And the, the AGM is taking, taking place. taking place. Yes. Okay, Mr. President, Mrs. Deputy President, thank you so much indeed. Thank All right, so we're going to uh, stop there for a, for a pause. At the top of the hour, we'll bring you more essay today. Stay with us.